stopped one of those strangers after the crash at South By is talking about the night she says she will never forget. As our Omar Lewis explains, Selenia Rios was only a few feet away from the crash scene and she sprung into action. There was just bodies on the ground and it was like kind of like time stood still. Selenia Rios was leaving a concert at the Mohawk when the crash happened. She immediately ran over to a stranger named Gracie Wynn. I felt her pulse and it was clear that she was in big trouble. She waited with Gracie holding her until medics arrived. After the crash, Rios says she was unable to sleep, thinking about the woman she connected with during tragedy. It was hard. I was kind of like obsessively looking for her because they hadn't released her name. Days later, Selenia found this donation site online for Gracie, a 23-year-old single mother and pastry chef visiting South by Southwest from Houston. I saw her picture and I was like, I knew immediately that was her. I'll never forget her face. She's a beautiful girl. Gracie Wynn is now in the intensive care unit at the University Medical Center at Brackenridge, where she suffers from a fractured skull and broken bones. For Selenia, she's now organizing a benefit for South by Southwest crash victims, her way of coping. It's amazing how people can be affected uh, by someone that you don't know, you know? Uh, she definitely touched my heart. Strangers bonded through tragedy, a moment Rio says changed her life forever. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. So far, that donation site for Gracie Nguyen has collected nearly $25,000. We posted some helpful links under this story at KXAN.com if you'd like to donate to Nguyen or any of the other crash victims.